Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna give you guys a huge tutorial on defense, offense, on my new defensive settings and also my new offensive freelance that I like to do. But we're gonna do it differently from now on. Instead of me just straight up showing you the tutorial with the detailed footage, I'm first gonna show you an entire gameplay of these new systems that I wanna show you down the line. Because I've been talking to a lot of you guys lately, and I do realize some of you do still struggle applying my tips because I myself, I don't do a good job showing you how to use everything in game all together. So from now on, I'm going to show you the general gameplay first of the new system I want to show you so you can study on that. And throughout after this video or this entire gameplay, the rest of the week, I'm also going to show you in detail how to execute these things, you know, step by step. So we'll be facing the all time great Celtics, the old day Celtics here on a domination because i've been trying to grind a diamond jerry lucas lately so there's gonna be a lot of domination gameplay but from now on you this is from here you will be able to see my switch all defenses is my new scheme and i always lose the tip at the beginning so i can set up my defense so i know i have to set up my defense and this is my switch all switch everything defense now it suits my team that i have here because if you saw earlier this is newer than the one you saw yesterday so this is current that was a while back and we have uh, Lance Stevenson at point, Shane Battier at shooting guard, Clay Thompson at small forward, AD at power forward, and Andrew Bogut at the five. I switch everything on defense between one to four. And my team works because of Shane Battier, Stevenson, they can switch on to anyone. And on offense, I am running a Horns Freelance now. So I no longer run a Princeton Freelance for my bigger squad. What I do now is I do run a Horns Motion Cut Freelance for my big Team. Oh, the lineup where you know Anthony Davis is a starting four because he can't spread to the three-point line, right? It is much better. I will go into detail how to use the horns motion cut freelance to your advantage with a big team or even a small team. That's how good that freelance is. So just study it here on offense to see how it flows. But on defense, this is my new switch or scheme. The defensive settings that I use for uh, this game will be at the end of the video, so don't worry. I also will talk through the entire first half of this game. The second half, I'll just leave it to you guys to watch so you can also watch it in detail of everything that is being used here because this is a brand new two-way system in a sense because I'm running a lot of horns, motion cuts, also still with pace and uh, motion cuts when I put in my stretch four, which is a uh, Ori. But this new, this defense is brand new. One thing of note that I do want to mention is that uh, on this gameplay, you will see, if you look at the setting, mm, great horns action right there. You will see from the settings that uh, double team is on, uh, on drive. I only do that here because Rondo is the point guard. Do not do double team on drive if you have more shooters, right? But what I did add it was uh, the post defense is on dig. And dig is excellent, so I suggest you do that. But I will break down how to use it properly in uh, later tutorials in detail this week. So this is how we're going to do tutorials now on. I show you the general stuff all together in the game first. And then I'll break it down to detail because I want to teach you guys as good as I can. I admit I have been messing up on that part because I only show the details but I don't show everything flowing together so it is gonna be like this from now on let me know how you guys feel about that that's probably better right it's just sometimes you know these are my stuff so to me they are they come simple so I enjoy showing you guys do it to you guys in detail because I want you to learn all the details and you, you can see here I'm just subbing in my uh, two my two uh, six man guys. I also have a new rotation tactic. So you can see a new rotation tactic at work here in this gameplay. I clipped all the substitution clips to you. So there is a new rotation tactic at work. I will discuss that also. It is also better than what I've been showing you. It says you guys need to understand when I make the tutorials, they're usually one to two weeks late of what I'm actually doing currently. Because you know, it takes time to make the tutorials. But now this is, I played this game yesterday night yesterday night so this is as recent as you will see this is these are my brand new systems and i will be showing online gameplay yes it's just i'm trying to finish grinding historic domination with uh getting my diamond card so it will be the historic domination gameplay maybe for like another few games and then it's gonna be all online and uh, also hall of fame but doesn't matter i mean you know your defense is good when you're playing historic domination and you're holding the other team to one freaking point one point in a quarter all right one 
that's a good defense. Now, the, can the offense do, you know, better? Of course it can, but understand this. is 9-1 in 5 minutes, and I am playing a bigger lineup that's designed to drive my defense, so it's working. I do score way more, way faster. Actually, I shouldn't say more. Way faster when I have Ori in, just like uh, right now Ori is in, and I'm running pace. Mmm, Steve Lee franchise! I miss this guy back in the day, man. But yes, when I am in pace, I am more high pace score. But the thing is, the point of Rancho is always bigger when I'm in horns. So the score is smaller, is less scoring, but when I'm in horns, the differential is bigger. Then why are you like, oh Sam, I need to do horns all the time. Not true. I also want to go to pace sometimes because I want to drive up the scoring pace, right? If I drive up the scoring pace and then I slow it back down in horns, that's real basketball. That's elite tactics. And that's what you're seeing here. See, now I'm in pace. I score like what? I think six, four points super fast when I was in pace. So this changes it up. But pace is a high, you know, speed offense. So when you run something like pace, you gotta be intelligent about it. You can't start with it all the time or run that fast all the time because it will feed into the offense of the other team. This is what Mike D'Antoni does wrong. I was watching an NBA League Pass a Houston preseason game, they were up like freaking 18 on Portland or something in the first quarter and then they gave it all back. You know why? Because they stay in a high pace offense the whole game. If you stay in a high pace offense, you're giving the other team a chance to fight. So you want to go high pace when they put in their bench because their bench is weak anyways. And then once they bring in back their starters, grind them down with horns or mix it in with a little bit of pace, but don't go pace all the time. You go pace all the time, you're gonna end up with a D'Antoni offense where you score 120 and skip up 129. Okay? Keep that in mind. That's a tip. You can take to the bank. And you can see the defense is still killing it. And Andrew Bogut as an Amro Center. One if you guys got a low budget team, oh my god, pick him up. Like the lateral quickness is supposed to be slow and all that, but he, he's not slow. I don't know why, but. He's not slow, you saw there, like this guy, look look at Bogut. Okay, that's pretty fast. That, that's without turbo. So yeah. Bogut is not slow. The Amro Bogut is not slow. Pick him up, it's about 5,000, 6,000 MT, I think. I picked him up for cheap, I got a good deal for like 4,500. But boy, can he defend. Look at that catch hedge by Bogut there. Mmm, that's nasty right there. And uh, like, oh Sam, why do ca oh, I can't believe we threw it out of bounds. Damn it, Ori, what were you thinking? And here's my uh, new rotation at work again, you can just see it here. But what was I saying? Catch Hatch. I do do Catch Hatch now because what Catch Hatch does, after the updates has been better. What it does is, the big man, alright, so ignore the on-ball defender because you can tell him to do whatever over, under, that's up to you. But what Catch Hatch does with the big man is that he is going to stay in front of the ball handler to deny a drive. But at the same time, if the big man rolls or fade, he's gonna go back to the big man. So if, if the big man stays inactive, he will stay in front of the ball handler and Bogut is injured, thank you 2k! Can't take a loss like a man, injures my Bogut. <clears throat> but back to catch Hedge, so what the Hedge defender does, he will get in front of the ball handler and deny a straight line drive. So he will deny the drive, but if, if the screener moves, if he pops or if he rolls, the catch Hedge defender will go right back to the screener, bang, Robert Ory. Go right back to the screener, and that's the end of that. Now, what you do give up is pull-ups. Because the big man is just denying the drive, he's not stepping all the way up to bump the handler. But he is closer than a no hedge, so if you got a de hedge defender with good wingspan and good closeout, he's pretty much doing everything. He can gut, he can challenge the shot a little bit, but he'll definitely block out the drive. But one downside about catch hedge is that when you turn catch hedge on, I talked to a 2k dev about this, so this is for sure, a developer. There's no help defense that comes. So ideally, if you're running catch hedge, you probably want to switch to a third off ball defender away from the pick and roll action and bring your own help. You can see in this video that I do do that a lot just to help it out. So catch hedge is absolutely deadly. Now, will you do it against Curry? Maybe if you have a very agile center, think like Anthony Davis, who you can manually yourself switch back to challenge the shot with intensity, remember intensity, when he pulls up. So it does work great, uh, get used to catch hedge, and if it's against a guy that's on the elite pull up shooter, just switch to a third off ball defender and hold your defense together. Like I'm holding them to 5 freaking points with catch hedge and switch all. Brand new defense will be broken down uh, later in the week, but you can just see the settings later. And man, this offense is crazy, obviously I'm in pace right now, and you see, 
and Nia with the rebound, and now I'm just missing shots right now, so <laughs> there's nothing I can do. I don't mind it, that's what happens in pace, but five freaking points! Historic domination! Has anyone done this? <laughs> five points! Against all-time Celtics! Like, these defensive settings work, okay? Five points is no joke. Like, am I getting some lucky breaks? I, I don't even think so. I, I've, every shot I think the Celtics have taken so far is contested, challenge, or just like a beatdown. Like, you can take a shot, but it's a beatdown. And here, my first mess up. The entire half. This one, they got a clean look. They run a loop action for Ray Allen. I got stuck on a Ori with Richardson. I should have switched to the hedge. They hit it. That's how good they are. Open shot, they hit it. So that was the only open shot they got this game. The other four points they had were free throws. No, I think the other five points, I think they were all, oh no, no. Was it all free throws? They might've been all free throws, I'm not sure, but they made one free and I think maybe a layup and that's a good fundamental flush action right there. So you saw, I ran mostly horns and now you see how I switch between horns and pace. Now you understand my intentions and I apologize once again for not fully explaining that and making you guys feel you either run one freelance all game and another freelance all game. I am sorry. That's not how I do it. This is how I do it. Pace, horns to start grinding down. Pace to speed up the scoring. The intention is always to defend and to use pace against weaker players. So when I do run pace, they don't get an advantage of running with me. They can run with me, but they're using crappy bench guys, you know. I win. And I will end the face cam here in the halftime. I've said everything I think I've wanted to say. You can see the highlights here and they are really good highlights. Like I played great this game. This is probably one of the best in terms of flowing through my systems, like the offense and the defense, probably best game I've played all year. So I really enjoyed this gameplay. Enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this too. If you enjoy it, let me know. I love YouTube. I love other 2K YouTubers. You guys have seen me work with them. But this, there is no content like this, right? This is what I do. 2K gameplay is like a painting to me. I like painting it nicely. And when I just see this, this, you know, this makes my day. This makes my life. I love this. I love this. Look at the field goal percentage, 75 to 12. That's ridiculous. This is a system of all systems. It will be broken down. I just want you guys to see the general here. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, add a like, uh, share this so then everybody else can see, you know, there's other 2K YouTube content out there is I mean like, the other entertainers are entertaining as heck, I love it. But we need some of this kind of content too out there, you know? Because otherwise 2K is just gonna develop the game in an entertaining way and forget about this stuff. I mean they do, they still do a good job making it, it's just... I want this to not be a, be a priority, you know? This kind of gameplay is gorgeous, this kind of gameplay is, is lovely. Uh, anybody, if you guys watch me, you do 2K for this, you play 2K for this. And when you can reach this level of 2K, or just even maybe even a glimpse of this level, it just makes your day, you know? So here are the settings. I did a slow motion version of the settings for those of you who want to see everything. So it's a little bit slower. So that's a surface to you guys, fan service. I got you. And for those of you who want to see the second half, just uh, after these settings, I will be leaving the second half on its own in its entirety or whatever I did record it, just to flow through it so you guys can study the systems I'm using and I will break everything down for you in detail so you can <clears throat> fully adapt to all this right this is how we're gonna do tutorials if you enjoy this new tutorial format uh, let me know I think I will do it like this and now on so everybody can benefit the most if you follow me I don't want you to lose that's how we do it so I'm gonna do everything I can to help you become a better 2k player and winning is important but it is a game so please have fun Everything I show you here will let you have fun because you won't feel cheated. You will feel in control. That's what I do for you. And the playbook here was the Pelicans playbook. I think I ran a lot of fist 2-5 quick swing. Great Pelicans play. So I'm out of here. Enjoy the settings. Second half is coming. All computer. Enjoy it. I'll see all of you next time.